a victory in court for three men convicted in a terrorism sting more than a decade ago. Police arrested the men last night as they were allegedly planting what they thought were real bombs outside a Jewish temple. A federal judge ordering the release of Anta Williams, David Williams and Laguerre Payne, three of the men known as the Newburgh Four arrested for a plot to blow up synagogues in New York City and shoot down National Guard planes in upstate New York. The suspects allegedly conducted surveillance and took photos of possible targets. In a scathing decision, U.S. District Judge Colleen McMahon accusing FBI agents of trying to arrest petty criminals by radicalizing the men to participate in a plot she called an FBI-orchestrated conspiracy. McMahon adding, quote, the real lead conspirator was the United States. That sounds like strong language, but it's just a pure description of the facts of this case. The judge also accusing the FBI of using a, quote, villain of an informant to prey on the poor, then manipulate the men to commit a fake crime in exchange for cash, materials, and even groceries. The defense is certain to raise questions about the informant and whether these men were duped. Every step of the way was all the FBI. These guys couldn't they had no driver's licenses. They couldn't find Google Maps of where these targets are that the FBI informant told them to use. I mean, they came up with not one single part of the spot. It was all the FBI. That FBI informant, Shahid Hussein, who made headlines again when a stretch limo operated by his company crashed in rural New York, killing 20 people. Manslaughter in the second degree. Hussein now serving a five to 15 year prison sentence for that crash. We have not heard back from his lawyers. The FBI says this man, James Crimity, was the alleged ringleader. In the Newburgh case, the federal judge who granted the release also accusing Hussein of recruiting James Cromedy, who was believed to be the ringleader of the terror plot. We think that both Mr. Cromedy and the others, number one, never should have been arrested, never should have been convicted by a jury. Um, and we had certainly hoped that on appeal, you know, many, many years ago, their convictions would have been reversed. He was not included in this compassionate release request, but the attorney who represents him says he's confident Cromedy would be entitled to the same relief. Late justice is better than no justice. As for the Williamses and Payne, their 25-year sentence is pulled back to 90 days, giving lawyers and officials time to prepare for their release, according to the judge. Their attorney hoping for more compassionate releases in the future. I think that the FBI is still doing and has been doing a lot of these unfair sting cases where they prey on mentally ill young men who really are not interested in terrorism. We've reached out to the FBI and Department of Justice, but have not heard back. Ellison Barber, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.